So, top tip number four. If you've got a bike, make sure you hide it and hide it well. Because I've been caught out before just by my bike. Would you believe, thankfully it was by another wild camper, I was so relieved, but in the middle of the night, I was sat round by a fire and some guy came traipsing through the woods with a torch on his head, because obviously he wants to see where he's going. And you want to know what lit up? That fucking thing. Oh, I've taken the, um, the reflectors off of the front. I can't get the one off the back. But to top it off, my bloody tyres are reflective as well. They've got a reflective strip around them. I mean, they're great tyres because they're anti-puncture, but mm, not so great for stealth. Another problem that I have is, as you can see, it's a huge, heavy Dutch bike. I do have gears on it, but it weighs a lot. So my advice is, if you're going to get a bike, don't go for one of these big, heavy things. Get a mountain bike. Um, I do have, as you've seen, um, I do have the saddlebags for it, the panniers. Um, and I've also uh, got a great big military uh, backpack that goes on the top of the rack. I've got a rack on there, I don't know if you can see that. So my big bag goes on the top of the rack. So in the holly bush it goes, and um, at night I use, um, at night I use uh, a rain cover that I put over the top of my military bag and I cover my back wheel with it because the front wheel is faced in a funny direction so I don't think people will pick up on that but that back wheel is a nightmare so um, I cover the back wheel at night with um, a sheet anyway that is top tip number four